tiny. Fit it in the spare room layout, Earl. Yep, that's about it. Yeah, very nice. What, yeah. uh, what's the philosophy behind it? Well, I've always liked small shunting layouts, either freight or engine sheds. Now, the idea behind this is this actually sits at the end of my garden shed and attaches to the sidings, and then I have, go out the end of the shed in a 60-foot run around the garden and back in again. So it was really made up to uh, store my engines. But as it was uh, detachable, I've exhibited it far and wide. But let's just, uh, it yeah. centers obviously around the turntable here, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, is that a kit? It's a Pico 00 turntable. That you've adapted? Yes, um, by simply putting on copper clad sleepers and making it wider and soldering O-gauge rails on the top. Um, plastic girders on the side and uh, wooden decking. I made a uh, O-gauge turntable. Uh, very nice. Yeah. Uh, what about the stock? Uh, the stock is various. Most of it's my own. Some of it is uh, borrowed or under repair for other people because they keep giving me my locos saying, can you sort this out for me? Yes. Um, the Somerset and Dorset tank is actually belongs to Reverend Nigel Adams who lives in Tawan. Um, and Another master of the small yeah, layout. That's right, yes. And uh, he says, oh, just sort out the pickups for me. So I, I changed all the pickups on it. And, and kept the locomotive afterwards. Uh, <laughs> just for today, unfortunately. Yeah, oh, right. Goes uh, back tonight. And um, these are, well, this is a, a layout that kids love, isn't it? Because you've put lots and lots, your little thing, lots and lots of animals, including, I've noticed, a dragon. Uh, yes, there is a dragon. Um, there's a larger dragon in the boiler house in there, but oh, right. uh, if you look closely... Oh, yes. yeah. yeah, okay, got that. How else are you going to heat the place?